What is up, guys? It is the Red Stone Scientist here, and I am here with another hashtag. Look at these guys. Another hashtag the shrink project update video. It's not really an update video. It's more of a concept uh, that may be helpful for some beginners. And I want to know whether you guys want me to write a generator for this. It'll take some time, but I want to know if you find this useful. Now, this concept I'm about to show you is basically a function system in, in Minecraft. This is 1.9, as you can probably tell. Now, the main bulk of it is just in this column here. And everything else you want to add would be, in every function you want to add, Oh no, I broke something! Hold on. Okay, well, I repaired it. Now, uh, these two command blocks are actually going to disappear uh, when you install this with a one command. You would install this base module first, and then you would add on things with the generator. And these two command blocks would automatically disappear. But uh, basically, it's those three command blocks and the armor stand there. So, uh, all the time, whenever you're in creative mode, so if we just do a slash clear here, no matter what, you will have, in this slot in your inventory, uh, a chest, event list 1 through 9, and you can add more of these in different slots if you want. So let's grab this, and you can place it down, and open it up. And in here, uh, I only have three events made so far, but uh, they're nicely organized, we have them in the normal or the impulse command block version, the chain command block version, and we have a little description here. So we could take a look at function number one, event name stop sound, event title one, which is the scoreboard op uh, value it uses, event duration one tick, and the description calling this event will stop all sounds from being played to the player at time of execution. Now, of course, we know that's only sounds uh, that are streamable, but let's just get one of those command blocks. And if we place it down, it used to be it would automatically do it, but just in case, uh, basically it condenses whatever you want to do, uh, whatever function you want to be able to call into one command block. So let's say I've got a big line of command blocks uh, somewhere, like uh, here you've got a big, well, okay, bad. Big, a big line of command blocks all doing different things, and we're like, okay, now at this point here, I want to stop sound. Okay, all I have to do is just grab the stop sound thing, uh, command block, and place it here. Uh, I guess in this case it would be a, uh, a chain, wouldn't it? So yeah, uh, I would just place it here, and there we go. The entire, uh, event of stop sound is contained in here, and that will automatically call this module over here, which is the stop sound module. And, uh, I label all the modules with signs, so the event title, how, how long the armor stand retains the event title score, and... Uh, how long the event lasts. So the stop sound takes one tick, so we have it like that. So let's look in the chest once again. Uh, so this is basically just to help you integrate it into your redstone. Rather than having all of those command blocks again and again and again, you can easily just find the one you want and place it down in your redstone, and there it is. It's more helpful for uh, beginner command blockers, and also if you're making a big map. It just saves a whole lot of time. Uh, and here in the description, uh, we already looked at that. So there's the stop sound. We also have the flashback event. So if we take this, now this is pretty cool. I'm not sure if I showed you this yet, but um, all we have to do is place this down, and it's act oh, we, we need we should do it with a pressure plate because just for this particular one. Pretty cool. So that's the flashback effect. We can see that again. I'm gonna be making a separate video on that. Uh, and again, we have that in chain command block form. Then, of course, we have the be awesome event. And uh, if we just get one of these. Now, I'm only using Q so that I don't take them all at once. Let's activate it. And here is the third function. And uh, you can see that's pretty useful. Now, uh, unfortunately, if I were to break this chest, everything flies everywhere, and that's not good. So... One of the, what one of those command blocks does... Okay, sorry about weird. that, I just uh, had a little glitch there. So, if there is a player in creative mode who is standing on top of this particular chest, it will just delete it. So that is how you can get rid of it safely, and you can fill this up with all your different things. Now, let's say you clear your inventory, you got it right here to just pull it back again. So it's a pretty, uh, handy thing. Now, the way it works is, at the beginning of each of your modules, you basically execute at the... Not there. Execute at an armor stand, or execute at anything with a tag master, uh, score event title min equals x, score event title equals x. So for the second event right there, we do min equals 2 and max equals 2, and so, because uh, that's all of the, that these command blocks are doing, just setting anything with a tag master 
the event title score to something else. And then immediately after, whenever we need it to be, we just set it back to zero. And that is all there is to it. Now, uh, the one command installation would be this whole thing. Now, it is really a pain to add more functions to like this system here because you have to like integrate it. But again, if you guys think this would be a useful thing to have in your world, uh, and you know, I would probably implement it with more than nine possible functions, then just let me know and I could try and work out uh, making a generator for this. But anyway, that is just about all I have time for today. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, a comment, or video, hit that subscribe button. I'm not gonna do that because I'm Alex. Uh, Better the subscribe, subscribe button. Make sure to share it with your friends. Make sure to check out the jam pack description for more science. Look forward to hashtag the shrink project. Everybody tweet it. Uh, this is the map I am making with Red Nobster, if you do not know. So, all right, guys. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.